Number 13 then from the 2018 SQA Advanced Tire Mathematics and Mechanics. A little bit of a break here from the mechanics paper. Just a purely mathematical question, but for six marks too. Carry out this definite integral using this substitution. Well, the first thing would be, if you're going to be using this substitution, every x has to be changed to a u, and all x values will have to be changed to u values. So first of all, with the differential, well, du by dx will just be 2x. So straight away, dx will be replaced by du over 2x. The, the limits. When x is 0, according to this, u will be... Oh, I'm sure I've just gone straight in, but I've done it now. 0 squared plus 4, which is 4. And when x is root 5 u will be root 5 squared, can't bother writing that, I'll just put the 5, plus 4, which is 9. Now you're ready to go, change everything. So it's integral from, it was 0, it's now 4. We're changing from the x variables to the u variables, the answer will be the same in the both. Root 5 gets changed to 9. I'll leave that top alone just now. The dx gets changed into du over 2x. The bottom part is the square root of u. Now, that 2x will cancel out most of that, just leaving an x squared on top. So what I've got is the integral of this so far. But x squared, since it's not gone, I'll have to go back to my substitution to try and remove it. If u is x squared plus 4, that means that x squared is equal to u minus 4. So when this cancels down, I'm left with x squared, which is u minus 4, over root u, I think I'll write that as u to the power of half, du. Now, getting to this was actually, I've gone through, right, because the marks are just falling on the page, that was actually the third mark by that point. The first mark was for getting this differential to change, the second mark was for changing the limits, just the order you do it in again, and the third mark was for getting everything in terms of u. Now, the next mark is going to be to tidy this up into the method in which you're going to carry out the integration, which is to separate them. So it's the integral from 4 to 9 of just dividing. It's a common denominator. So that'll be u to the power of half, and that'll be 4 divided by it, so that's 4u to the negative a half, du. There's another mark. Now let's carry out the integration. So add 1 to the power and divide by the power. Add 1 to the power, 3 upon 2, divide by that, so that'll be 2 thirds, the reciprocal times it. Minus, it's always safe putting a minus down because it's easy to change it to a plus. Minus, add 1 to the power, so that's a half. Divide by that, so it'll be times 2, so that makes it 8, so there's nothing to change. Evaluate it from 4 to 9. That's worth a mark. Now, one mark left then for just working it out. Well, so it's 2 thirds off. Now, 9, square root 3, cube that. 27, minus 8 times square root 3, minus 2 thirds of 4, square root 2, cube root 8, minus 8 times square root 4, 2. Well, you've got 2 thirds and 2 thirds, so it's 2 thirds of 27 take away 2 thirds of 8, so that's 2 thirds of 27 take away 8, so that's 2 thirds of 19, so that's 38.3. And then you've got Minus 3 eighths plus 2 eighths, that's minus an 8. So 3 eighths are 24, taking 24 away from there, 14 upon 3. Or you could just put it in your calculator to get that final mark.